Today I got a brand new Asus Tough gaming laptop right out of the box. I'm going to open it up, go inside and take a look at things, do a couple upgrades and I'll show you how I do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Uh, today I got a brand new Asus Tough gaming laptop. A uh, customer brought it in, they just took it out of the box, or he just took it out of the box a couple of days ago. And he bought the laptop, brand new of course, and he brought in some goodies he wants me to put inside for him, basically do a couple little upgrades. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, <clears throat> this model's a 17.3 inch gaming laptop. Let's see, the exact model is a Tough FX706L. It has the 10th generation Core i5 10300H processor. G4 1650 Ti graphics with four gigabytes of VRAM. It comes with a 512 gigabyte PCI Express NVMe drive and eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory. Um, it is a 144 hertz display, by the way. It's got Wi-Fi 6, of course, it's got an RGB keyboard, which is pretty cool. It's got a three cell 48 watt hour battery, but I'll have all them specs on the screen there for you to check out. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna do the upgrades and Call it good, so let's go ahead and shut it down. I've already taken all the screws out of the bottom. I don't want to bore you with that on camera. But I'll show you here in a second, as soon as I get it shut down, what we're gonna do. This is what he brought in. He, like I said, it comes with eight gigabytes of DDR4, but he brought a, or he purchased a 32 gigabyte kit. He bought some Team Group, T-Force Zeus DDR4 RAM, two 16 gig sticks. You know, it's, it's a kit, so they're, they're a, it's a matched set. He also wants me to, he brought in a one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive um, that he wants to put in. Now, inside the box of most of these Tufts, they give you the SATA cable and, of course, the mounting screws. The caddy should already be inside for us to mount the two and a half inch hard drive. Now, you could easily replace the hard drive with a two and a half inch SSD of any brand, like a Crucial for example, or Samsung if you wanted to, but he just wants this in there for some extra storage, I guess, so I'll be happy to put it in. So we're gonna do the RAM and the hard drive, and that's about it. All right, so we gotta shut off. It's a, it's a big boy. Like I said, I took all the screws out already. Now, the two screws on the front corners, this one here and this one down here, they're real short little screws. All the rest are the same length. All right, guys, sorry I had to answer the phone real quick. Anyway, like I was saying, all the screws are the same length along the back, sides, and the center, except these two front ones in the corners here are really short, so just make sure you remember where all your screws go. So I'm just going to grab my plastic little triangle spudger tool here and get into a seam. Now on these, I've opened a lot of these tufts up, usually along the back seam here. They're a little tricky sometimes, so you don't want to force it, but I can usually, there's a nice little opening right here where we can start our spudger tool or somewhere along the side. Just be careful around your porch. You're not, don't want to booger those up at all. <clears throat> so forgive me if you can't see exactly what I'm doing, but I got to get a good angle on this. There, that lifted right up. And these are usually not too bad, but like I said, along the back. Don't be poking any screwdrivers or anything in there and always make sure you protect yourself from static electricity before you get inside your laptop. Wear a ESD wristband or a mat or both, wood table, something like that. I'm all protected here so I don't need to worry about it. All right, so we got it started, but as you can see the back, here's being a little stubborn. So I'm gonna get my other little spudger. Just kind of work it very gently along this back seam. Pretty self-explanatory, just don't go poking in there a long ways with your tools. <clears throat> oh, that one wasn't too bad. Sometimes you gotta do a lot of finagling, so. There's the bottom cover off there. Not much to see there. All right. All right, I am gonna disconnect the battery, first and foremost, because I don't wanna, I'm gonna be poking around in there, so I wanna be careful. Um, Here's our battery and it's connected to your main board right here. We're gonna slide that connector back towards the battery. Use a plastic tool, just be careful because we don't wanna booger anything up. So 
Sometimes these come out easy, sometimes they don't. There, that one come out not too bad. All right, it's disconnected. Um, let me check something. Okay, over here, good. Here's our two and a half inch caddy. It's screwed in with four mounting screws here. It's just sitting there. We're gonna take our little SATA cable they gave us, attach it to the hard drive, and it's already pre-bent to go a certain way for the most part. I have to finagle it a little bit as soon as I get it on the drive here. They already got padding on it because it's gonna be sitting down. It is going to go in, it's gonna go in like this, okay? And the connector is right here on the motherboard. It's over here in the corner, right by the battery. Um, let's see, I'm gonna flip this little lever up here. It's gonna be a tight fit here, trying to get that connected there. Um, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take my number zero Phillips here. I got that battery disconnected. Let's see, I think there's only two screws holding that battery in, yes. I'm gonna take the battery out, get it out of the way to put that, connect that cable. I'm using a number zero Phillips head here. Should lift, should lift right out. Yeah, let's just set that over there till we're done. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and take out our caddy here. He said four screws. Sorry if my big fat head's in the way. I've done a lot of these tufts, different upgrades and things like that. Bigger NVMe drives, more RAM, etc. All right, so we got our caddy out. I'm gonna put this right in the caddy. Just like that. And they give you four mounting screws in the box. Luckily, he didn't throw away the box before he got the screws out, but I got extras. So now we're just gonna screw that back in there. Doing projects like this, guys, just take your time. Use good quality tools. It makes the job a whole lot easier. Persuaded, I guess. This, um, you said at the beginning here, this model does have a 512 gigabyte NVMe drive in it. Could easily upgrade that to something larger, a one or two terabyte if you wanted to. This model right here has a second PCI Express NVMe slot. I don't believe it's a combo slot though. I don't think you can put a SATA M.2 in there. It's gonna to have to be a PC Express or a NVMe M.2 drive. So you got room to grow on this, even after we do this stuff. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna uh, take this, and we're gonna set this right over here. Well, it's going to be a tight fit for that battery. Hope you can see that okay, guys. See, I have to connect this cable right to this little connector right here on the motherboard. And sometimes these are a little stubborn to slide in. Just got to make sure you get it in all the way. Get it right up to the black line there. Should be good. I think it. I think it's in there out of the way. But just for kicks, I'm gonna give it a little tug, a little extra push here. Oh crap, <laughs> I had it in there. 
I just want to make sure it was in all the way because I've had these cables look like they're in sometimes, but they're not. Yes, that's not in. You have to take it all back apart and all that fun stuff, and that's pain. Can't get it going straight. Come on. There, I like that. So we got to connect here with our four mounting screws back in here. <clears throat> Even though with that battery disconnected, guys, be careful. I normally open the lid and hit the power switch a few times after I disconnect the battery, but just don't drop anything in and you should be okay. It's kind of early, kind of early today. I'm didn't drink enough coffee, I guess. Yay. Pretty straightforward little upgrade. So he's going to end up with a extra one terabyte of storage. We'll initialize the hard disk once we get into Windows. So we're connected there. We're good there. But here's the uh, M.2, the factory install. NVMe drive and here's that second slot you can put in a 2280 in each slot and here's our RAM so I'm gonna get this 8 gig stick out of here set that over there and this RAM has like a heat label on the one side but nothing on the other side um you know what I got some of these extra little pads right here as long as I got these let me that on there for them. So we got something on both sides. So to make sure you get a good click when you put these in there. Your arms come back over all the way which it looks good there. And our second slot is right there. Oh so here's our other 16 gig stick. Flip it around here. All right, so we got to see. You got another one here. <clears throat> These are like heat spreaders, heat shields for this RAM, so that's good. All right. Like I said, just make sure you get a good click on both sides. Boom. And like I said, this has Wi-Fi 6. Oh, just so you know, the yeah, it, all these tufts are like this. Like I said, here's your M.2 drive. The Wi-Fi card is buried deep underneath the M.2. You have to take the M.2 drive out and the Wi-Fi card is underneath. You see your antenna wires going over here to it. So yeah, they kind of hide that. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and get that battery back in there if we can. <clears throat> Just be really careful on those wires, they're super thin. It's going to be a. Hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> My bad. I thought. That battery's not going to fit in there, but it does. When I took the screws out for the bottom cover here, a, a number one Phillips works really good. It gets a really good bite on those screws. Try to use magnetic screwdrivers. It makes the job quite a bit easier. One more screw over here. All right, so we got to connect our battery back up. I'm going to be in the way here, guys. Sorry, but I don't really have a choice. Got to get these wires up here. Ah, it's just so hard. I don't give you any extra anything here. I've had people leave comments about my bench tops. My bench tops are all covered with a throughout the whole shop here covered with a commercial grade anti-static carpet. It's not scratching the laptop. Plus we treat our floors and our bench tops with a product called Static Side. It's an anti-static, really good product. 
several times a week, just to spray them down real quick. It dries in about 30 seconds. Gotta make sure that's in all the way. All right, that looks pretty good, I think. Sometimes they don't look like they go in all the way, but it is. All right, so got our new hard drive, got our 32 gigs of RAM. That RAM is a brand I've never used. It's a team group, T-Force Zeus, DDR4 gaming. So, I mean, I've seen it, I've just never used it. Hopefully it's gonna work. Probably got a deal on it. It's 2666 megahertz. Um, yeah. Let's put this guy, we got everything. Didn't leave any screwdrivers in there, right? No. I'm gonna wait to put all the screws in. It's just kind of my MO when I do a job like this. I don't button it completely up until I know everything's good. Just save a little time if you have to take it back apart. All right. So this model here comes with a 150 watt AC adapter, of course. The battery's charged up, so we don't need that at the moment. So let's go ahead and open it up here. Now with the new RAM in there, this might take a minute or two for it to post. It's got to do some memory training basically in the BIOS, figure out what, what I put in there, what speed it is. Now on this model, on these Tufts like this, and these mid-range type gaming laptops, <clears throat> there's no memory profiles in the BIOS where you can overclock your RAM or anything. You have to get into some pretty high-end laptops, gaming laptops, to have that ability in the BIOS. Hey, we got a post. So that's good. These are good laptops, these Asus Tufts. I've done a lot of upgrades on a lot of these and never had a problem, never had any heat issues. I guess everybody's circumstances are different, but he bought a nice laptop. I'm gonna get in there and check our RAM real quick. Just get on here and open up Mr. Task Manager real quick. GPU or CPU or i5. Here's our memory. We've got 32 gigabytes, 2667. So we got 32 gigs of RAM. So it works. Now let's go over here. I'm going to right click on the start button. I'm going to go into disk management. Hopefully it sees that two and a half inch hard drive that we just put in there. Yep, there it is right there. So we're going to initialize it real quick. right here where it says unallocated there's the factory MVME drive so we're just going to right click on the drive do a new simple volume you can easily partition this if you wanted to um, try to do that before you put any date on it just makes it easier I'm just gonna he just wanted a one terabyte partition so that's what I'm gonna do it's gonna be drive <clears throat> let's see there that's all done uh, yeah, pretty straightforward upgrade, guys. So there it is, drive D. That's cool. So yeah, now he's got an extra terabyte. He's got 32 gigs of RAM. It should run in dual channel, no problem. Awesome. So that's all I got, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you like it, give me a like. Uh, ring the little bell and give me a sub. That would be awesome. I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a great day.